Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to come on here and share a little Macy's haul with you all. I went on to Macy's a couple, like I think it was last week, and noticed that they had a coupon offer that if you purchased $50 worth of makeup, you get $10 off. So I was like, that's a good deal because Macy's doesn't usually offer deals on beauty beauty things. I don't think so anyway. Not that I know of. If you know, let me know because that was the first deal I'd ever seen on beauty products. So, and it didn't matter what makeup you chose. You could have chose MAC, you could have chose whatever you wanted to. So I'll show you the items that I picked up from that little sale. So I picked up some little goodies here. Picked up two little products, actually three products. So let's start out with the smallest item, which came a little busted up. So I was a little disappointed in the packaging of it, but oh well. So I picked up the Inglot Duraline. This is a liquid that you can use if you have any kind of product that's starting to dry out. Like so those Revlon color tattoos. Is, is it the color tattoos by Revlon? I'm not even sure anymore. I used to have them and I threw them all away because they had all dried up. And now I'm wish I, wishing I wouldn't have because this Inglot stuff, you just put a couple drops of this in it and it kind of revives any kind of product like that. So I picked this up as like a game changer for any of my products that have starting to dry out. So like your color pop, I'm thinking you can use it in that too. So if you have products that are starting to dry out, this is a really good product to try to see if you can revive, revive that product instead of throwing it away. Because why throw away good makeup products just because maybe you didn't cap it right or whatever. So this is a good product that I wanted to try out. I've heard a lot about it too. So the next product I picked up is the Tarte High Performance Naturals. What is this? is the Color Vibes palette. So this is the Christmas palette that they've come out with. So this is another holiday 2016 collection. So I wanted to show you what it looks like. And if you'd like a full review on this, let me know because I can definitely do that. So here is what the actual package looks like. It's got that kind of 60s little vibe going with it. So that's how the new packaging for the holiday 2016 is, which I'm okay with. I don't have a problem with it. I know a lot of people don't really like the packaging, which I think it's like I don't know. I think last year's with all the sparkles and everything, I didn't like all the sparkles they had on all the Christmas packaging because that sparkle stuff is so messy. But anyway, it comes with a giant size mirror here and then it comes with some really good size palette uh, pans here. So here is actually what the shadows look like that come in this little palette here. And I think they look pretty decent. So I'm excited to try this out to see if it's any good because I know Tarte has a kind of a reputation for not making good products for the holiday palettes. So I'm hoping this is an exception to the rule and not the rule. So let's hope it's good. It, does, it looks like it has some really nice colors in here, but for some reason, these colors look like they might be very similar on both sides. Is it just me or do they look a little similar on both sides? So we'll have to test this out. I think maybe some of them are mattes and some are shimmers, so they might be the same color, but they're just different textures. So I'm excited to try it out to see if it's any good. So if you guys have tried this already, let me know your thoughts and your opinions on it because I don't know, maybe you love it or maybe you hate it, but maybe either way, I'd like to know because I think that's the great thing about a beauty, beauty community. We all work together and we all learn from each other. So I don't know it all. So I'm hoping that sometimes I can find an answer from one of you guys. The last item I picked up is this Tarte High Performance Naturals. What is this called? It's called the Tartiste. Is it Tartist? Tartist. It's the Tartist because it's it's like artist Tartist. Tartist toolbox. So here is what the actual package looks like and then it does have all these brushes included. So let me open this up and show you. I was really excited about this one because I have brushes but I don't really have any like good brushes. I have some really nice ones but I don't have any like name brand is what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh I really like the packaging to this. Wow I'm really surprised. This is like fabric but it feels really nice and, and sturdy and then it's got like this little button closure on it wow I'm really liking that and then it's got this all the brushes over here and then over here on this side I do know that this side over here has a is this supposed to come out I'm not even sure I'm not real sure if that's supposed to come out or not I don't know but anyway this side is like magnetic so you can put some actual eyeshadows and stuff in it I'll show you quick because I do have my little Z palette sitting here. I have, what is this? I have the Ofra You Glow Girl. So I'll just stick that in there so you can see how you can stick shadows in there. So that's really good for traveling. So you then you have brushes and whatever else you'd want to put on the other side. If you want to pick, take some shadows and some blushes and throw them in over there, which I don't know, is this plastic thing supposed to stay there? Let me know if you know, because if it's not, then I'm taking that thing out because 
I think it's supposed to come out. I have no idea. Let me know if you know because I don't know. I don't really like that part. I know that. I don't like the plastic thing right there. It's a little, it's a little wonky. That's a little disappointing, that part. If that's supposed to stay in there, I don't like it. I don't like that part. See, it's like a little, ugh, that's just a little annoying to me. Hopefully that's supposed to come out. So if you guys know, let me know. I'd hate to rip it out. Either way, I guess if I don't like it in there, I should just rip it out, right? And then it does come with all these brushes. It comes with five brushes and four of them are dual ended. So which means you have nine brushes technically. So it comes with this brush here. Uh, I'll show you. It comes with this brush here. So there's a uh, side here and a side here. I'm not even sure where they're all for yet. I know this is like a foundation brush and I'm assuming this is for like concealer and under eye correcting and stuff like that. So that's a really nice one. And the pouch that you actually put them back into looks really nice when you put them in there. So like I, like I said, this would be really great for traveling with. I think it's a really great travel palette uh, package. <laughs> the next brush is this one here and it looks like this. This is that brush. I'm not sure. Like I said, what these are all for yet. So I'll have to figure it out. I don't know. I think brushes, though, is one of those tools that you can use for whatever you want it to be for. The next brush looks like this. So there's the other brush. And this says dual ended. And the great thing about putting them back in that little pouch is that they're not going to get damaged on the bottom. So versus sticking them like in a little cup holder. And then this brush here. I like the brushes. They feel... A little heavy but not super heavy I think the the heaviest brush I've ever felt has to be like the it cosmetics ones they feel very heavy like the, the ferrule on them this was heavy but not quite as heavy as those and then here is the last brush it looks like that it's, this one has a white tip and then another this is a dual ended again so again like I said I'm not even sure what all the sides are for yet so I'll, I'll have to play around with these a bit and do a makeup look using these and possibly that palette. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that because I can definitely do it. Otherwise that is the end of my little Macy's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know did you pick up anything during that Macy's sale because I thought it was a good deal. You got $10 off of every $50 you spent so I think that's a good deal on makeup because that's technically if you spend $100 it's 20% off so that's about a Sephora sale. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.